Hello, in this video I'll show you how to edit your studio backdrops and make them look better in Camps Photoshop and in this video we shall handle how to remove these distractions or distractions from the studio backdrop, how to change the backdrop color and how to add a snoot effect and remove these wrinkles and uneven color in the studio backdrop in Camps Photoshop. So simply like the video and to download the snoot effect used later on in this video, simply check the link in the video description. So for this, make sure you're done editing the image and you can see I'm done editing this very image and I tend to clean up the backdrop after doing all the adjustments regarding the screen retouch and color grading. So I'll come to the image for this case and create a copy by pressing command J on the keyboard and after creating that copy, I'm simply going to come to select, come to select subject and I'm going to select the edges of the subject. Once I'm done selecting the subject, I'll basically come and get the quick selection tool and make sure it is on the plus icon and add this prop to part of the selection just like this. So after selecting everything in the image regarding the subject and this studio prop, I'll simply come to select and come to inverse so that I can select the background in instead. So I'll just come and get the spot healing brush tool. With the spot healing brush tool selected, I'll simply come and click or dab over these strip boxes and soft boxes to try to remove them so just click on them don't mind if it leaves annoying colors in the studio backdrop because we shall perfect that later on in this very video so i'm just going to first of all remove these simple distractions from the studio backdrop so just dab over them to eliminate them or get rid of them so i'm just going to click and dab over the topmost area and you can see sometimes it does a good job and sometimes it will slightly misbehave. So after doing this, the next step is going to be working to get even skin or even backdrop color. That's what I tend to mean. We just want to get a uniform studio backdrop color for this kind of backdrop. So to do this, with the background selected, come and get the brush tool and make sure the mode is set to normal opacity and flat 100 percent opacity at 100 percent flat about 64 percent and make sure the soft round brush is selected so we just want to sample color from the backdrop itself and paint it in areas that we want to correct or perfect so i'll increase on the size hold on the option on the keyboard to sample a color of your preference or choice option click and start painting the color that you have sampled so option click on the color of your choice option and click alternate and click and paint a color of your choice in areas that you want to color correct regarding the backdrop color so i'm just going to do this for the rest of the areas that have this backdrop color so option and sample and make sure you don't eliminate these original folds in the studio backdrop color so that we can create a more even color so that the backdrop can look natural and realistic so it is not as flat as we intend it to be so make sure you leave anything that is meant to look natural in the studio backdrop so i'm just going to do this for the rest of the backdrop color so option click and sample and you can see the top area of the backdrop has this kind of annoying color so i'm just going to sample and paint just on top like that so option i'm just going to slightly darken this other side too i'll sample from this side and paint using the color i've sampled from this other side of the studio backdrop so this is what i have to do for the rest of the backdrop color so option sample and slightly paint on top of the model's head so once I'm done doing the painting process, I'll come and get the Mr. Brush tool right here. So get the Mr. Brush tool and for the settings, make sure clean brush is selected. The mode is set to clean brush. This second option is selected. Wetness is 9, load 75, mix 90, floor 100%. Make sure you either check or uncheck this. So this doesn't matter at this point. So I'm just going to start blending the areas that may have and even backdrop color so just use the mr brush tool and try to blend all those areas that you feel 
have inconsistent color that are not blending because when you are trying to paint using the normal brush tool sometimes the colors may not look natural enough so just use the mister brush tool to try to blend the colors and don't get rid of the initial shadows like i told you at the start of the video so this fold has to remain there in the image because that is a natural fold for the studio backdrop so i'll just do this quickly and as you can see by simply painting we are now having a very clean backdrop so to deselect the selection press command d or you can use ctrl d to deselect the original selection for our subject so this is what we have right now you can see before after before after so after this we're just going to come and open the image in camera raw so that we can try to change the backdrop color so how are we going to change the backdrop color just come to filter come to camera raw filter and when it opened up in camera raw simply come to the color mixer and remember hue changes a color saturation is the intensity of a color luminous deals with the brightness level of a given color so for this we are just going to darken the backdrop even more come to luminous and since it is blue come to the blues and you can move the slider towards the left hand side and this is going to darken the studio backdrop and you're going to come to the hues and we slightly change the hue of the blues in this very case just like this and you can as well play around with the saturation values to your taste or to your liking so i'm just going to come the luminous and even darken this even more just like that and you can see the backdrop now looks better you can see before after before after i'm just going to come and click ok to open the image back in photoshop so right here in photoshop the next step that we want to do we want to create a snoot effect for our studio backdrop so we are basically going to come and duplicate this layer by pressing command j on the keyboard we can use ctrl j to duplicate this layer then come back to select and come to subject so that we can select the subject in this case once you have selected the subject in this case make sure you include this to part of the selection so just come to the quick selection tool make sure it is on the plus icon and click to add a selection just like that and to remove a selection you can click right here to subtract a given selection that you don't want to be selected as part of the initial selection then we want to put the subject on its own layer so press command c to copy the subject selection then press command v to paste the subject on a brand new layer and you can see the subject has been placed on a brand new layer then come to this layer below the subject and make sure it is selected then import the snoot effect so make sure you have imported the snoot effect in this case come and get the rectangular marquee tool right there and simply click and hold down and you drag down to make a selection of the snoot effect then press command c ctrl c to copy then come to the image with this layer below the subject selected press command v or you can use ctrl v to paste the snoot effect then hold down or press command t yeah command t to resize the effect or you can use ctrl t then hold down the option key on the keyboard and resize the effect to your taste or to your liking so i'm just going to resize my effect just like that you can even make it bigger in case you want to then hit enter or return come to this layer right click on it and come to convert to smart object because we want to be able to change the values later on after applying them to the image change the blend mode of the snoot effect from normal to screen then come to filter and come to blur come to gaussian blur and you can increase on the blur radius so that the effect can look to be at a distance just like that so at about 19 that's look that looks okay then you can as well come and change this new color to your taste or to your liking by coming and creating a hue and saturation adjustment layer click on the clipping mask icon so that the effect can affect only the snoot effect then come to colorize make sure it is checked and come and play around with the hue values just like that to your taste or to your liking and you can as well increase on the saturation 
to your taste or to your liking. So at about there, I feel like that looks okay to me. So, and after that, this is all for this video. Let's see the overall before and after. This is the image before, after, before, after, before, after. So this is how you can transform your studio backdrops when it comes to Photoshop. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. If you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel, Ronis from Ronis Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and as well keep creating.